All right, so this video is for anyone that has a predator issue that lives on a property or farm um, and has considered getting a livestock dog or LGD. Um, so I just, when I started having a predator problem, I started talking to local farmers in my area and they all um, unanimously basically said that I need a livestock guardian dog. You start with just one, wait till it becomes mature and then add in the second one because the adult dog will actually help train the puppy. And that has been true even though this guy came to us late, later than our puppy. Um, he has been very helpful in teaching him what's appropriate behaviors and what isn't with the livestock, which has been awesome. Um, so the whole thing that you can't cuddle them or pet them is absolutely false. You actually do want to interact with your dogs quite a bit um, so that they aren't aggressive towards people because that would be a bummer if they thought that you were a threat to the animal that they're protecting. Um, they're very, you want to socialize them to any animal that is new to your farm. So anytime we have a new animal that comes to our farm, which happens quite a bit here at the rescue, obviously we're a rescue, so we have animals coming and going frequently. Um, we do keep those, the new ones in a pen for other reasons besides the dogs, they need to socialize to everyone, but we let the dogs interact with them through a fence for the first week or so um, before letting them play because they are, are gonna protect the other animals from, they're gonna, <laughs> The, this kid and his dog are like best friends. It's really hilarious. Um, anyways, they'll protect our animals from other animals as well. So we need to make sure that they understand that the other animals are not a threat. Um, what else, Mowgli? What else should they know about people? Oh, okay. Thank you. Um, you can train them just like you train us guys only bark at night. They only bark um, when there's something to bark at. Um, they also work really well as a team. Dude sent a coyote screaming the other day. I was so proud of him because those stupid pack of coyotes have been harassing us for months now. And he finally did hand-to-hand -hand combat with it and came out on top. So that was really awesome. Another good reason to keep your dogs up to date on the rabies vaccines. Um, but yeah, if you have any questions or anything else you'd like me to discuss about the Livestock Guardian Dogs, I'm happy to share my knowledge with you. So just leave your questions down in the comments. Go ahead and tear me up in the comments, guys. I'm ready for you. Hey! If you have any questions or anything else you'd like me to discuss about the Livestock Guardian Dogs, I'm happy to share my knowledge with you. So just leave your questions down in the comments. Go ahead and tear me up in the comments, guys. I'm ready for you.